Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss vibration and rotation spectra of a diatomic molecule or a diatomic rotor. So basically we know that in case of rotational spectra we supply microwave radiations while in case of vibration spectra we apply infrared radiation and basically energy of the microwave radiation is lesser as compared to the infrared radiation and when a molecule is transiting in vibration state then that particular molecule will also rotate because the rotational energy is less as compared to the vibrational energy then suppose uh, this is the molecule and if this molecule is vibrating in this particular manner then along with the vibration it will also rotate and both the motions or both transitions that is vibrational as well as the rotational transition will be seen simultaneously in a molecule and both these transitions are independent of each other we have already derived independently the energies for the rotational spectra as well as energies for vibrational spectra and the total energy resulting because of the combined motion that is for rotational as well as vibrational motion will be the sum of both these energies so we have already seen that mu bar r which is the energy in centimeter inverse for rotational spectra it is given as b j into j plus 1 where b is the rotational constant and j is the rotational quantum number whereas for vibrational vibrational spectra for a unharmonic motion uh, the value for energy was v plus half omega e plus v plus half square omega e x e so this was the value where v is the vibrational quantum number and values of j and v are from 0 1 2 and it goes on now over here in case of the vibrational rotational spectra there is rotation motion as well as or there is rotational transition as well as the vibrational transition and both these transitions are independent of each other so we can write that total energy that is mu total will be equal to the sum of the rotational contribution plus sum of the vibrational contribution and hence the energy will be bj into j plus 1 plus v plus half omega e plus v plus half square omega e x e so this will be the value of energy when we are considering both rotation as well as vibration now as we are considering rotation and vibration the selection rule for rotation and vibration would also come in the picture and as we have seen in previous lecture that the selection rule for vibration is plus minus 1 and similarly for rotation that is delta j is also plus minus 1 so both this uh, selection rule will come into picture and when we want to see the energy difference or when we want to calculate the spectral spectral lines and as we know that in case of the vibration spectra the ground state energy levels are most populated and the fundamental frequency is the transition from ground state to the first excited state that is a transition from v is equal to 0 to v is equal to 1 is the fundamental frequency and hence over here also we will consider the first transition only and higher transitions could be neglected and similarly suppose we consider that j double prime is the ground state of an rotational level and the molecules they transit from j double dash to or j double prime to j prime that is where j double prime it represents the ground state and j prime it represents the higher or the first higher excited state then the difference that is uh, then that is we can write delta v bar will be equal to we can write v bar of j prime v is equal to 0 minus v bar of j double prime v is equal to sorry this will be v is equal to 1 that is higher minus lower that is higher minus lower difference we are taking it as higher minus lower so over here for v uh, v bar that is for lower state we will substitute j is equal to j prime and in place of v we will substitute 1 and for the 
लोअर स्टेट विल सब्सिट्यूट जे इज इक्वल टू जे डबल प्राइम एंड वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सिंप्लीफाई अवर रिलेशन एंड हेंस वी विल गेट डेल्टा म्यू बार इज इक्वल टू विल हैव सपोज वी मेक अ स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट बी जे बार इनटू सॉरी जे प्राइम इनटू जे प्राइम प्लस वन प्लस नाउ वन सो टू वन जा टू प्लस वन थ्री सो इट विल बी थ्री बाई टू ओमेगा प्लस अगेन टू वन जार टू प्लस वन थ्री एंड होल स्क्वायर मीन्स इट विल बी सॉरी इट इज ओवर हियर इट इज माइनस ओके मिस्टेकन इट इज माइनस ओवर हियर सो दिस विल बी माइनस नाइन बाई फोर ओमेगा एक्सी देन माइनस अगेन वी विल हैव बी इंटू जे डबल प्राइम इंटू जे डबल प्राइम प्लस वन प्लस अगेन ओवर हियर वी विल बी जीरो सो इट विल बी ओनली हाफ ओमेगा माइनस Again, this will be zero, and it will be one by four omega i c. Okay. Now, further, when we simplify this particular term, uh, we will take both these terms together, and hence we will have b j dash into j dash plus one minus b j double prime into j prime plus one. This is three by two, and this is minus one by two. So it will be two by two, and hence it will become omega i. And again, this will become minus minus plus, and this minus. So we can keep minus and nine minus one. It will be eight. Eight by four. That will be two omega i x c. Okay. And further, when we simplify this particular term, uh, then we will have b into j prime minus j double prime into j prime plus j double prime plus one. Plus omega i can be taken common, so omega i into one minus two x c. Okay. Now further, ah, uh, we can simplify or we can substitute in place of this particular term. We can substitute omega zero, and hence our relation will take form b into j prime minus j double prime into j prime plus j double prime plus one plus omega. Zero. Okay. So this is the relation which gives the spectral lines in case of uh, vibrational rotational spectra. And over here, B is identical, or we know that B is the separation in case of the rotational spectra, and B is identical in case of the upper vibrations as well as the lower by uh, lower vibration. so suppose when we uh, when we want to observe the transition lines then we know that between every uh, vibrational states there exists several rotational states and uh, suppose if we consider that uh, these are the rotational states that is j double prime is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 and this are present in vibrational state v is equal to 0 and sim similarly the higher states that is j prime is equal to 0 1 2 3 and these are present in the higher vibrational state that is v is equal to 1 so when we look at the transitions then according to the rotational selection rule j is equal to plus minus 1 is the allowed transition plus minus 1 means um we can say that from j is equal to 0 the transition will take place to j is equal to 1 so higher minus 1 minus 0 so that will be 1 so this is an allowed transition similarly from 1 Two two, it is an allowed transition. Similarly, from two to three, it is an allowed transition. Okay, in case of rotational spectra, and similarly, uh, from we can say that from one to zero is also allowed transition because zero minus one will be minus one. So hence, delta j will be equal to minus one. So this is also allowed transition. Similarly, from two to one is an allowed transition. Similarly, from three to two, it is an allowed transition so in this case over here delta j will be equal to 1 and in this case delta j will be equal to minus 1 and similarly if 0 to 0 transition is taking place then delta j will be equal to 0 which is a 
forbidden transition in case of the rotational spectra so this transition is not seen and only j is equal to 1 or j is equal to minus 1 transition is seen so when we con uh, when we look at or when we take delta j is equal to and uh, that is we will have higher minus lower that is j dash minus j double prime is equal to 1 then we can also uh, we can also rearrange this and we can write it at as j dash is equal to j double dash plus 1 and when we substitute both these values in this equation then uh, we will have that is uh, we will have delta v is equal to j dash minus j j prime minus j double prime is 1 so this will be b into 1 into in place of j dash we will substitute j prime plus 1 so it will be 2j prime plus 2 so it will be 2j double prime plus 2 and hence plus we will have omega o so we uh, so we will have omega 0 plus 2 will be common and hence we will have 2b into j double prime plus 1 so this will be the case when we have or when we have delta j is equal to plus 1 and suppose we have delta j is equal to j prime minus j double prime and that is equal to minus 1 then we can rearrange this relation and we can write j double prime is equal to j prime plus 1 and when we substitute both these values in this relation then we will have delta v bar is equal to b into minus 1 into 2j prime plus 2 plus omega 0 and that will be equal to omega 0 minus 2b into j prime plus 1 so this is the case when delta j is equal to minus 1 and both these relations can be generalized we can write it equal to that is delta v bar is equal to omega 0 plus 2b m where m where m we can write m is equal to j double prime plus 1 in case where delta j is positive and m is equal to minus of j prime plus 1 where delta j where delta j is equal to minus 1 and hence this representation is the general form to represent the spectral lines and where m or the value of m is the integral value that is m is equal to we can say plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on so further we will see the spectra based on this particular representation so we had the value that is delta v bar is equal to omega plus 2 b m and where value of m is equal to plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on okay and particularly the value of m cannot be equal to 0 because if the value of m will be equal to 0 then it would imply that delta j is equal to 0 but delta j is equal to 0 is a forbidden transition and hence uh, delta j is not equal to 0 or it is a forbidden tran transition and m could not be equal to 0 further the value or omega 0 is called the band origin or it is called the band center that is all the bands are originating from the center so suppose in this particular representation if we substitute m is equal to 1 then we will have omega 0 plus 2b if we substitute o so for m is equal to 1 similarly if we substitute m is equal to minus 1 then delta v bar is equal to omega minus 2b where m is equal to minus 1 similarly if we substitute m is equal to 2 we will have delta v bar is equal to omega plus it will be 2 to the 4 4b where over here m will be equal to 2 similarly if we substitute m is equal to minus 2 then omega will be uh, delta v will be equal to omega 0 minus 4b where m is equal to minus 2 so 
over here we can see that there is the difference of 2b in each case and uh, uh, in case of the rotational spectra we know that the relative intensity it depends uh, so the intensity of the line depends on the relative population according to maxwell boltzmann relation and when we plot a curve or when we plot these lines then we will have uh, we will have omega 0 is the origin that is omega 0 will be the band origin and from omega 0 we will have from omega 0 the distance will be 2b uh, suppose this is energy j1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 4 then 5 6 7 so on so this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on and the distance between each line is 2b 2b this 2b and this is the maximum intensity and over here on this side delta j is equal to plus 1 and similarly on the other side we will have lines of this shape where again we will have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on and over here on left hand side we will have delta j will be equal to minus 1 and uh, this type of curve we will obtain in case of the rotational vibration spectra wherein the distance or the spacing is 2b 2b in each case and over here omega 0 is known as band origin and the curves that is this portion that is this side is called p band the center is called q and the right hand side is called r so this will be p on left hand side we will have p center will be q and right hand side will be r so this is an p q r rotational vibrational spectra of a diatomic molecule okay and similarly a similar rotational vibrational spectra of carbon monoxide is also shown in this particular figure where the fundamental absorption frequency is observed around 200 or oh sorry 2000 143 centimeter inverse and we can see that there is in center there is an empty spacing okay which is omega 0 where delta j is equal to 0 which is a forbidden transition and right hand side we will have r band and on left hand side we will have q band and similarly as carbon monoxide will show a harmonic motion there is also an overtone observed and the overtone is observed at around 4260 centimeter inwards and it is also showing the same type of the bands that is p q r type band so uh, this was all about the rotational vibrational spectra hope the topic was clear Thank you very much.